traveler, please, over here. It has been a while since you joined the Adventurer's Guild. Are your adventures going smoothly? Hmm, is that so? Apart from your own skills, reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring. Another person to count on is always good after all. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is it? Yep, and it's even harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. Ah, yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. Let me consult our records. Ah, there it is. There's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived in Mondstadt lately, dressed in most unusual clothes. Blonde. Dress is all funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. Wait! Do you mean... Does that stranger's face look anything like hers? Hmm? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look more different. This stranger is a very tall man, and even has an eye patch. Seriously? <laughs> How does this have anything to do with Kaya? I can't just can't prove that you're related anyway. Nonetheless, you can look for him if you're interested. Perhaps he might accept your commission instead. I can't give up. Wow, he's got no intention of paying us any mind, huh? A traveler, you say? Hmm. Why are you traveling? <sighs> well, that's as good a reason as any. Sit down over there, then. So... Guess we've broken the ice. What a weird guy. Hmm. That little one beside you. It's indeed a good thing to have someone accompany you on your travels. My name's Dainsliff. I suppose you have some business with me? Sure. He was so cold just a moment before. Paimon's got a bad feeling about this. But I will require advance payment. 500 mora and three answered questions. The 500 is a one-time fee, and we'll settle the questions in a moment. That's it. Well, now Paimon's got a really bad feeling. That kind of compensation can't be right. Ah, thank you. Now, as for my questions, I'd like you to answer them here and now. The answer to a question says nothing about right and wrong, only about differences in attitude. I only wish to know what your choices are. You need only answer. Question 1. The crisis Mondstadt faced was resolved by an alliance between yourself and that... Animo Archon who calls himself Venti. Who, in your view, was the key to ending that crisis? I know everything that I should. <laughs> well, answer the question. Is that your answer? Hmm, I see. Question number two. Rex Lapis, who has defended Liyue Harbor for millennia on end, used his gnosis to lay down a contract to end all contracts, of which the stipulations are still unknown. Who do you think will defend Liyue Harbor in the future, now that they've lost their deity? So that's your answer? I see. Now for my final question. This world has people who gained visions, and those who did not. Which of the two do you think hold more importance in the eyes of the gods? So, this is your answer then. I understand. It seems that you're different from him. 
I'll take that 500 mora. And now I also understand your views on this world. As we agreed, you may now commission me. That said, I only take commissions related to the Abyss Order. Like you, I am currently on a journey. You intend to find your sibling, while I wish to oppose the Abyss. Ugh. Those creatures that serve the Abyss are the fangs and claws by which the Order spreads chaos in this world. I have come to Mondstadt this time while on the trail of an Abyss Herald. An Abyss Herald? An even more twisted Abyssal being, one that commands the Abyss Mages. Oh, that's right! We've just been fighting against the Fatui and Liyue, who are human too! We haven't encountered the non-human Abyss Order at all! There's some reason behind that, I'm afraid. It's possible that they may have been under orders to avoid your path. Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. <gasps> Maybe they're looking for a better time to ambush us or something. Uh-huh, we're super duper strong! That manner, it's just like his. Well then, let's go see for ourselves, shall we? According to the leads I have on hand, the Abyss Order has re-infiltrated the Temple of the Falcon. Let's meet up at the temple. Perhaps your questions about the Abyss will be answered there. This abandoned temple does bear some marks of the Abyss. The Falcon of the West. Though it can soar in the wind, it ultimately does naught but hover under the light of the gods. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Let's head inside. Dodge this! Just a few abyss mages. Seems like that herald might have already left. The abyss. It is chaos, and it is also destruction. It is a morass of inconceivable madness that encroaches upon this world's very foundations. That is why even the Dragon of the East, a servant of a deity, was unable to resist its corrosive powers. And the creatures of the Abyss desire nothing less than the overthrow of a world ruled by the Archons. You seem to know a lot about the Abyss game. <laughs> well, we do have some history. I suppose that's as far as chit-chat goes. We should head to Wolvendom. Judging by the traces I'm following, their next appearance may be within the territory of that old wolf. Perhaps we may find our Abyss Herald there. Lord of Wolvendom, Great Wolf King of the North. Sharp of fang and keen of claw. And yet dwelling here only. No, nor does it know me. I only know these things because a previous traveling companion of mine once wanted to hear its story. All right. Let's go see if that Abyss Herald has stopped by here. Well, where do we begin? Hmm. Are you standing here because of these strange bonfires scene? Indeed. See that? Floating above the flames? It's an Abyssal spell. Knowing what I do of the Order's habits, they've probably left similar marks behind elsewhere. Let's have a look nearby. Have you finished searching? I searched around these parts and found some signs myself. But they were left behind by abyss mages, and there was no deeper abyssal power to them. It seems that even an abyss herald would not wish to make trouble with the Wolf King of the North. We should leave as well. If there's anything praiseworthy about that old wolf, it's his territorial nature. But now we're out of leads! Are we going to have to give up? No. There is one more place we can go. Let's get a move on then. I'll wait for you at Storm Terror's lair.
I've heard about what happened to you during Mondstadt's crisis. When you came, this place was known as Storm Terror's Lair. But I suppose that this place is more Lair than Storm Terror at this point. In fact, if my memory serves, this ruin has had largely nothing to do with that dragon for a long time. The first time I laid eyes upon the ruins of Old Mondstadt, the Dragon of the East had yet to fall, much less come to nest in this place. Huh? But Baima remembers that Devalin first got in trouble hundreds of years ago. Don't think too much about it. Do you remember the light actuators that once sealed this ruin? If the Abyss Order is interested in this location, then they will not neglect those mechanisms. Let's go see what the situation is at those light actuators. Look! There are lots of monsters gathered over there! Oh, so in the end, we still couldn't find that Abyss Herald. Bummer. I wouldn't call not having to gaze upon such a creature a shame, exactly. Still, I do believe that you will come across one eventually. N no you're right. If it's a really powerful monster, it would be best to go around it. <sighs> How good it would be if all perils one encounters in their journeys could simply be solved by going around them. Once upon a time, yes. I simply have experience from adventuring together with that traveling companion. Uh, you know, Dean, you keep talking about that person this and that person that. Where are they now, anyway? He... <sighs> no longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. Oh, is that how it is? Well, why are you traveling alone, then? I still have some things left unfinished. Once they are done, I too will return home to rest. <sighs> yep! And it's good to have a home to come back to, isn't it? We camp out a lot when we travel. Home. Well, it won't be too late to think about where you stay once your journey reaches its end. While you're still traveling, you should... A familiar feeling, you say? It could be someone you know well, or perhaps a monster. Whichever it is, we should see it for ourselves, and thus see clearly. We can reach the top of that cliff from over there. Let's go. Can you still sense that familiar feeling that you spoke of earlier? Here. No monsters, no people, nothing. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about this place. It doesn't look any different from the last time I was here. My traveling companion brought me here on our previous journey. Hmm. So, Dane, what about you? What's your favorite place? Me? <laughs> I no longer remember. I merely followed my traveling companion around on that journey. That's all there was to it. Huh? A ruined guard's footprint. A ruined guard was wandering around here? No peace to be found, even for a single dandelion. Hmm. 
Perhaps that dandelion bears some sort of scent that only you recognize. As for why, has it perhaps experienced something related to you? Uh, you're saying some real confusing stuff. Paimon doesn't get it at all. Do not rush. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. Your journey has only just begun, has it not? At least you now know that he is still on this world. At this time, the most important thing is the journey to find him itself. Yes, and this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. May you find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then, let us part ways here for now. Huh? You're leaving? Already? Only for now. Don't worry. We will meet again. After all, I did take 500 mora and those three answers you gave me. Outlanders do not belong in this world. One day, this journey will reach its end. But until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Your Highness, our plan to weaponize the dragon has been impeded. By the Animo Archon? He rises again for the dragon's sake? No, not the Archon. We were well prepared for his interference. Regrettably, Your Highness, the issue is your brother. Outlander! <laughs> Your journey ends here. You mean? <laughs> we will be reunited, dear brother. But not here. Not now. We will meet at this journey's end. Once the dust has settled. Then, you will understand. Phew. This time is different. Who do they think they are, going after the Abyss Order's treasures? Oh, Traveler, it's you. Huh? Ganyu, what are you doing here with Lan? Do you have a commission you need to post? Hello. We were just discussing the treasure hoarders. Yes. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarders should know better than to mess with the Abyss. It's just too evil. Anyway, the treasure hoarders discovered some previously unexplored ruins that the Abyss Order has been secretly guarding in the shadows. Despite how dangerous that makes it, all the treasure hoarders can think about is what kinds of treasure could be inside. They have already devised a plan. They will send out a decoy to divert the Abyss Order's forces away from the ruins, then send an expert thief inside to steal the treasure. With the major changes in Leoa recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Millilith already have their hands full. They don't have any time to investigate rumors about treasure hoarder activity. So I decided to come to the Adventurer's Guild to post a commission. Mm hmm Leave this commission to us! Oh! Thank you so much. Good to see this in the hands of a reliable guild member. Well then, good luck. The guild will take care of the details of this commission. More signs that a treasure hoarder was here! This should be the right direction. But... Why does it feel stranger and stranger as we make it deeper into these ruins? 
<laughs> um, be careful now. Paimon's right behind you. Is he praying to something? <gasps> That's... Why is the Statue of the Seven hanging upside down? And the statue's hands... Paimon remembers they're normally holding an orb, right? But this statue is holding... What is that? Uh... Paimon has a really bad feeling about this. And the Grand Thief hasn't moved an inch. Do... Do you think he's... Um... Hello? Are you okay, mister? He... He's dead. Paimon doesn't feel so good. on the secrets of the Abyss. As a herald, I will mete out your punishment. An Abyss herald? Dane. Danesliff. Oh, I thought you were just a couple of pests that stumbled in here by mistake. So, you are with Danesliff, that Constant annoyance in our affairs. The Abyss is unstoppable! What is this power? I have never seen it before! Careful! Please don't get cocky! <sighs> this power... It seems... Familiar. I see... So it's you. You are the one. In that case, I shall stay here no longer. <sighs> what a tough battle! Are you okay? Oh, such a strong enemy! Who knew the Abyss Order had monsters this powerful among them? So, we meet again. A little sooner than I had expected. Hey, it's Dane! Judging by your expression, it seems you just experienced something quite strange. Could it be that you encountered an Abyss Herald in those ruins? Huh? How did you know that? I've been on the Abyss Herald's trail. I didn't expect to find you here as well. An inverted statue of the Seven, holding abyssal power in its hands. No, I have never seen such a thing during my time fighting the Abyss. Though I have had my suspicions. Tell me the rest of what happened in there. So you escaped the ruined depths filled with abyssal power, and then? And then, as we got close to the exit, an Abyss Herald suddenly appeared and blocked our way! We fought a big battle with that thing. Maybe it hasn't gotten too far yet. Yes, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up to it. Those abyss may 
hostages just now. Were they trying to ambush us? No. They were just digging through these abandoned ruin guards looking for something of value. Oh, is that so? The Traveler here seems to like doing that a lot, too. Looking for chaos devices, chaos circuits, you know, that kind of stuff. Hmm. They wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because Abyss Mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of Ruin Guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruins. However, they look disappointed, so it would seem they haven't found it yet. Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were up to? I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the Abyss, but I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire Abyss Order. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Or rather, these Abyss Mages likely fear something else, much more than they do a painful interrogation. All right, we shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. Wow, besides the Abyss Order, Ruin Guards sure are active around here. Hmm, seems wherever we find an Abyss Mage hideout, there's often a bunch of Ruin Guards roaming around too. Is that just a coincidence, or...? There are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Just like your appearance in that tavern. Time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. Forget it. Just some needless musings. The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same roots below. Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Conria. Huh? Conria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh. Speaking of Conria, that's really a super ancient name! Oh! <laughs> Right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... Huh? You have memories of being there. But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago! Hmm... Is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. But... If you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first. I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your brother from within that meteorite. It seems your brother woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? And then your brother told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos, and that you two should leave this world called Tevat? The destruction of Kanria? He said that? That destruction you witnessed, that's... history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your brother must have understood this world better than you did, because he woke up first. And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path, so you couldn't escape. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now, 
Since you have come to gain some understanding of Tavat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Am I right? Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria so you could find your brother? Oh, yeah! You can travel around the Seven Nations to find the Seven, but where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? I probably know more about Conria than both of you. Conria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them but because it never had a god to begin with. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented, flourishing, and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation without a god? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. You mean that... Five hundred years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search. Over there! It's more ruin guards and abyss mages. Dane was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. Hmm. So, did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No. Ruin guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. These ruin guards were known as field tillers by the people of Kanria. Field tillers? What a strange name. It's not like you think. Field tiller was just a code name. The people of Kanria like to give code names to their weapons. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the field tiller came about. Fought for with steel and blood? Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Uh, Paimon doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. <laughs> After the destruction of Kanria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tevat perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time, they found their way to various ruins across the land, where they lie dormant. Well, that sounds... so sad. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. But no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. Dropped a talisman. Hmm. <gasps> Could it be a communication of some kind? Hmm. This talisman seems connected to the Abyss Herald, but why would an Abyss Mage be carrying it? Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. But Paimon can't read the writing on it. Oh, <gasps> is that the script of Conria? Engulf the faith of the enemy in flame and bring glory to His Highness the Prince. Loom of Fate, initial operation. They, the Abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Loom of Fate? What's that? Is it literally a... Fate-leaving machine? From the Hora 
terrible feeling Paimon's been getting. Those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate-weaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osayo, Overlord of the Vortex. The Overlord of the Vortex? You mean that god in the ocean? What do they want with Osayo? Uh... I know of your past heroics regarding Dvalin. And I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osayo, just as they did to Valen? No. From the contents of the Talisman, this operation goes one step further. They won't just corrupt Osayo's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the Field Tillers to completely transform Osayo's body. So wait! The Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid god of mass destruction? Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though, of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god. And the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the Statue of the Seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. The eye of the very first field tiller? Oh, Paimon gets it! All those Abyss Mages are looking for the special eye, right? It would seem so. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw, right? Yes. According to the Talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Oh boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. Hmm. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? Yeah! That tone-deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. The cathedral? Hmm. Huh? What's the matter, Dane? Nothing. Let's get moving. A huge statue. A grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. But how aware of this was the animal Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? Faith doesn't ask for anything in return, though, does it? <laughs> as long as the gods have a clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Shh! We're about to enter the cathedral! Don't say anything bad! about the Animal Archon. And actually, the Animal Archon is... Ugh, never mind. <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. When a non-believer steps onto holy ground, the result is never pretty. I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. I don't see any reason I would need it now, or in the future either. Okay, 
then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. Honorary Knight! Hi, how have you been? Do you need anything today? Uh, but I should first make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Lyre to Hermel again, we cannot oblige. It seems she hasn't realized it's just an illusion. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about something. Barbara, have you heard about the first field tiller? Hmm... What's that? Field tiller? What does it do? Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, next question. Has the church ever lost a statue of the Seven? Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Well, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely anyone mentions it nowadays. A long time ago, there was indeed one statue of the Seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it, but it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Hmm... Of course! Of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, Paimon means... Any other strange stories? <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, but we can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like Dane said outside, it's for your own good. Other strange stories? I'm not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Uh, oh, the Tyrant's Final Fury? No, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. The Tyrant's Final Fury? Oh, this refers to a time of great danger that engulfed old Mondstadt, the place now known as Storm Terror's Lair. Many, many years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached old Mondstadt. People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms, so they referred to it as the Tyrant's Final Fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own. Right! Later, the theory of the Tyrant's Final Fury became less probable in the eyes of the Church. Common reasoning dictates that the god of storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. Anyway, this incident might not be related to the lost statue of the Seven, but I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. It's okay. Thanks anyway! There's that pointless word, thank you, again. I can never get used to hearing it. Oh, Rosaria, it's you! If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh, those monsters? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering in Wolvendom, causing great unrest among the wolves. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvendom. I must also begin to make a move myself. Then I will go as well. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. B but you're also a member of the clergy. Right. We'll go give Master Jean a hand. Oh, okay. If the honorary knight will be there, then... But please, everyone, be careful. May the animal archon protect you all. I see. Has the Abyss Order already launched a new operation? This could very well have something to do with the Defiled Statue. We should go as well. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolvendom for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? 
Uh, not again! No, that's not likely. Unlike Osile, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> Fits the Abyss Order's style. I'm... not going any further. Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Besides, you're the one people like. I'm less likable. There's nothing special about gods anyway. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Does Dan hate the Seven or is he protecting them? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears. I will tell you one final fact. The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Up, oh, there he goes. What a strange man. Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are you two doing here? Oh, Master Jean! So glad we found you. Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. But the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? The Abyss Order already went after Dvalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm... That is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight? Please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This god's spirit... He does not often see people, but I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonius. <gasps> Look! Over there, it's Razor! And... the Abyss Herald! You! Not welcome here! <laughs> so, the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Lise. Lise. What the heck is this ceremony? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no, is this the same thing they did to corrupt Avalon's mind? Wolves never surrender. This can't go on. 
No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Oh, Let me scratch. Think you can get away? The ceremony was interrupted. How fortunate for you. No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. It disappeared again! Thank you. You came. Just in time. Human Lupercal. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider, not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trap. Wait, so you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smelled danger and came here? No, we heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Yes. It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the Proving Ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but... did we help? Yes, you were a big help! Thanks! We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. You too, also be careful. Dang, there you are! Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? 
Arborea's story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom. After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom! It would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireballs stopped raining from the sky. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Then, use your elemental sight to look for the eye. Ooh, so what did you see? Huh? Nothing? Oh, but Paimon was so excited! Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. And done. Wow! It's... it's a... The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The Eye of the First Field Tiller. All of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this Eye is placed in the hands of the Defiled Statue, and if the limbs of Osile, Overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Yes. Th then, what should we do with this eye? No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Hmm. You won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Destroy it? That's a statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine! going completely bonkers right now! Huh. Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dane's Rift, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... 
Oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Let me scry. Incinerate! Shadows of fate! A touch of frost! Eyes on me! Delved into destiny! Fate is upon you. Submit for judgment. Swift and merciful. The world. A touch of frost. with Dane. Uh-huh. Ether, we meet again. You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. Ether. <laughs> but it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. Five hundred years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him, to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the Abyss. Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Uh... I'm so confused! Home... Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Lumine! I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. Always had enough time. Uh, 
with the abyss. Well, keep your chin up. Hyman believes in both of you. And when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Right? He said we needed to reach the end of our journey. Hyman bets he still has lots more to tell us. And we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. Aw, uh, don't mention it, partner. Travel buddies are supposed to look out for one another. Although, where should we go next? If we want to continue with the journey... Hmm... Oh, you mean the god that took your brother away in the first place? You're right. After all, everything that followed, all this confusion, it all started with her. Yeah. Paimon bets she's the key to understanding this whole mystery. Well, we've ruled out two gods so far, the Animo and Geo Archons. So, next... Hmm... Paimon doesn't think we can simply walk into Inazuma. Zhang Li said it was a close name.